you are watching this video because you tried to fix your van move s3 x3 bike and no matter what you tried and do you couldn't fix it so if you experience arrow 17 20 and 6 especially time to time after you charge your bike after you left your bike for a week or two in the shed in the garage this is a video made for you if you watch my previous video where i explain where the problem is and uh, where the mistake is told you that i'm gonna find a solution and uh, today i'm gonna present you the solution who wants to purchase the bypass to fix the problem and to use the bike for long term you only will find it on raspairparts.com I know the website is still small and I'm still working on it, but you will have available a number of parts for Van Move. So if you go into the description of this video, you're going to find all sorts of uh, parts for, for batteries, for modules and so on and so forth. So today I present you the quick solution that I believe will fix all the Van Move S3 X3, most of the problems. So this thing, took me about three weeks to rigorously test it and to make sure it doesn't affect the safety of the battery and the safety of the bike. So this is the product finished. This is a special made bypass that will allow 0.1 amp with a diode that will prevent any safety issues. So this uh, bypass will basically allow the module to be top top without affecting the safety of the battery so if you want to fit this to your battery this will be fitted to the main battery i'm going to show you how to fit it and what you would need to fit this so to do this job you will need this bypass few snap that you receive in the package so you receive this bypass and two snap on the cable connections yeah so you need this and you will need electrical tape you will need a utility knife and a pair of pliers so this is completely safe i already tested and i already did all sorts of tests to make sure it doesn't affect the safety of the battery but it solved the problem of uh, the battery being completely dead and it doesn't allow the module to be topped up after a long storage so let's get going so the shunt will come something like that yes we have to keep one thing in mind battery side it will be on the battery side usually battery side positive side of the battery is the red wire that comes from this side you can remove this tape so you're going to see clearly this is the battery side so we have the battery side here and this is still the discharge side of the battery i'm going to explain you why i put it this way because this is crowded into the case so if you don't put it this way means that this connector will be here if it's here here you cannot fit it back into the case because it will pop out and is very hard to fit back so we put it here first so we remove the tape and we make a bit of way for this connector to sit and then we tape it off so we take this side so always the it goes on the red wire and we take the non-battery side yeah i put it this way so i make sure i adjust after here i can put it whatever it fits it comes but here i need to put it first so i need to be exactly in that position between the two so if you look at this you're gonna have one end tapped so with this end tapped this will come on this end on the other end will go through so this one will just come like this when you put it inside make sure you take it out and you see the distance so if it just pops in a bit it's not in maybe in the transport this thing been squeezed inside so you make sure it's out all the way if it's in just take uh, pliers and pull it out back okay so we are so this metal thing needs to be sticking out this this side so we snap this here just in the middle on the cell side so not on the plastic 
not on the BMS. It just needs to be in the middle. When we stick this in, we make sure it is for sure in. And now, making sure we don't have wires under to squeeze other wires, we just squeeze this so it will be flush. You also make sure here is connected and here doesn't come out. We take the wires out of the way. We put this in the middle. We take some tape and we tape it. When we tape it, it needs to be perfectly in the center. If it's not, you're going to have issues when you're going to pop it in. I'm going to show you what issues you might have. So, I forgot to take this off. Now, with the utility knife, this is okay. You just tape it on top. But here, so this one is repaired by me. Now, when I do repairs, I also change. You see, I'm an idiot. So, you need to cut straight on the edge without mistake. So, this one is made with heat shrink. Don't pull too much. You see you have components inside. So it's not so bad, but doesn't need to be like so. I'm just going to find a flat place where I can make it see. When you tape it, make sure it dips in. So you just don't make it too tight. And we end up here. We have the same, yeah? One end is shut. One end is loose. So this end is shut. So I know it comes this way. So I'm going to tap this. In, yeah, and when the other end goes all the way, I make sure is all the way, yeah, because sometimes told you it might not fit, it has a plastic something residual, and then I slide this to be perfectly so. Is in, is good, connected. That's the connection. You can see a bit of metal. This will connect perfectly. So this is calculated for the wire. Will not cut the wire. Will not affect the wire. Will just bypass so it will work. It has to be electrical tape because it's heat resistant and is okay. So you can still put some tape to keep it tight. And job done. Now I'm going to show you how to put it in safely i have a special tape i use in all my repairs so let's fit it you see this you have a, the bms side here but once i like squeeze it it gets wider on the sides yeah so what i do put it in yeah when i end up here you see i have this yeah focus on me don't focus on me focus here okay so just pass and squeeze easy you're going to have another thing here, yeah? So you want to make sure that it doesn't hook cables, wires, anything. It just comes in. So even the gravity will help you. Make sure when you put it back not to grab any wires to hook them somehow. And that's it. Put the screws back. After you've done this, even if you have the module battery dead, whatever, you put the battery inside the bike. So this is how you do the installation. You put the battery in. By the way, this is Frankenstein. This is the bike that I use to test modules, to test batteries, to test e-shifters, kick locks and everything. So it's all the way in. You leave it for half an hour. After half an hour, you're going to hard reset. So I do hard reset again. This one doesn't have volume. It's my testing, but you're going to see the reset. Come on. Yeah. So I reset it. If you do the reset while it's off, you don't put any error into the battery. So I reset. You're not going to hear a volume because this one has the speaker removed. Okay. So it's on and it works. Ta-da! So this is not a repair. You're not expecting that you have an issue with your bike. And you're going to repair with this. So this is specifically made for the 1.9.3 update that shut down the main battery. And with the shutdown, the module doesn't charge again. So if you store the bike for two weeks, you come back and you find it dead. This is the solution I found after hundreds of emails received with the same problem. Thank you very much. My name is Raz. I do lots of repairs for van moves. If you need this particular component, you only find it on razsparparts.com. You find all the links into the description. You find module batteries, you find fuses, how to replace the fuse, how to, to see what is the issue with your bike. Thank you very much again. Have a good one.